Let's start by creating a line on the XZ plane. And let's create something that's 50 millimeters vertically, 250 millimeters wide. And let's create another line vertically. Again, it's going to be 50 millimeters tall. So this represents a shape that we're going to buy. So a piece of angle iron or a piece of rebar, whatever shape it be. And we want to offset to create the wall thickness. Offsetting is done with the offset command. So let's select offset. And we're going to select the curves that we want to offset. Now notice if I pick one with the chain selection turned on, it's automatically finding all the connected lines. So I don't have to worry about filling them or trimming them. As I sketch them connected with the chain selection enabled, Fusion went out and found the entire loop. Now they are using the tax box and the offset dialog box or the input box. We can actually set the amount of offset that we want. So it's really a method of duplicating geometry but duplicating geometry with an inherent offset. The dimension is created, so by double clicking on it, I can actually change that value to change the amount of offset. One dimension manages the offset of the entire loop. So let's create lines to cap off the top. And if we were to stop the sketch and start press pull, we have a shape that we're able to quickly extrude. So again, we can use offset to quickly duplicate geometry at a set value away from the original objects.